Let's build an API that given an image URL, it can automatically remove the background from that image. And we're going to be doing this using BuildShip, which combines the best and the low and the no code worlds to give us the ability to create these powerful complex backends with just a few clicks. So here's my BuildShip project. You can see I've got a bunch of workflows and what I'm going to do is add a new one by adding a trigger. Now, I said API, so we've got a bunch of different ways that we can add triggers. I'm going to go with the REST API call. I click on Add Trigger, and we're ready to go. So we've got a REST API call. Let's call this one Remove-Background. That's going to be our path, and our method is going to be Get. So that's our trigger. Now we need to do something with the information that we get through that API call. So I'm going to add a new node by clicking here. And now we've got a whole bunch of stuff we can use. I'm going to go over to the replicate integration and use the background remover node. I'm going to click on add and you'll see we're almost a hundred percent of the way done. It's incredible. So what I'm going to do is for our image URL, I'm actually going to use this function here to be able to take as a complex expression from my query parameters, the URL and that's it. So, I'm just going to take the URL query parameter from my API call. And I also need the replicate API key. And I'm going to do that here by clicking on the function again under my secrets. You can see I've got a bunch of keys already set up. If you want to set up your own, you can also click on add secret. I'm just going to select my replicate one here. And let's take a minute to dive in here because you're going to see the code here is written in JavaScript. You can see we've got our URL and our API key and the output is running against replicate. It gives us an output and then we're done. We return that output. How cool is that? Well, let's actually return that output. So I'm going to click here again and go on return. So the return node here is going to give me the ability to give the API caller the information they want. So I'm going to click on add node. So our status code is going to be a 200. We successfully remove the background from an image and the value clicking here is going to come from the background remover node. It's that image URL. And that's it. Once we're ready to go, we can click on ship. It'll make it available in just a few moments and I'll be ready to start removing backgrounds from images. Great. Now that our workflow is deployed, let's hop over to Postman and try it out. Cool. So here's a picture of the Rowie team. We're going to throw this up on our API and see how the background's removed. And here we go. I've put our workflow URL along with the query parameter for the URL into my browser, and it's given me an output file directly from Replicate. Let's go ahead and put that into our browser and see what happens. And there you have it. Most of the background is removed. There's the team looking wonderful and happy. We've done it, folks. We've removed the background and given the ability for our users to be able to do this in just a few clicks using BuildShip. Stay tuned for more videos where we'll show you even more powerful ways to be able to do that. But until then, see you in the next video.